Aloha. You're watching F5 On Demand. I'm Technical Marketing Manager Peter Silva, and this is an inside look at the Big IP Advanced Firewall Manager. I also have Josh Mendoza, Product Management Engineer, joining me shortly. But first, as you are well aware, the business computing environment is evolving. From all of us and the multitude of devices and the various ways we access information, to all of the applications and the interdependency among those applications that we request information from, to the infrastructure needed to secure those applications and information being delivered to us. Maintaining security with all that going on is a challenge. In a business environment, security is all about risk, assessment, management, and mitigation. So any of these IT computing trends, the webification of apps, device proliferation, evolving security threats, or the disappearing perimeter are all potentially risks to the business. For instance, the webification of apps puts demands on an organization's ability to scale beyond what traditional networks can handle. With the evolving security threats, Additional security infrastructure might be necessary to deal with sophisticated attacks, plus particular organizations are being specifically targeted. And so ultimately, businesses need scale to meet the demands of a distributed worldwide workforce. They need to secure their data not only from the targeted attacks, but also unauthorized access or inadvertent leakage of information along with staying current with any regulatory compliance requirements. And businesses also need to keep their infrastructure simple, since complexity can be kryptonite to securing any infrastructure. And of course, F5 delivers the scale and performance needed for these challenges. The security necessary to protect the applications and infrastructure and the operational efficiency within the strategic point of control of the data center. The Big IP platform is a full proxy architecture, establishing a TCP connection with the user to the Big IP and a separate TCP connection from the Big IP to the resources themselves and is able to apply policies on either end. This allows organizations to inspect, manipulate, or simply drop traffic both on the way in and on the way out at any point along the stack, reducing business risks. With Big IP version 11.3, F5 is introducing the Application Delivery Firewall Solution, and within that is the Advanced Firewall Manager. It is a stateful, full proxy, ICSA certified firewall with on-box logging and reporting. Of course, all the native TCP, SSL, and HTTP proxies are included, in addition to all the DOS mitigation features, with over 80 attack types covered. The key about this solution is that all of these security features available in Advanced Firewall Manager have always been available on the Big IP. What we've done with the Advanced Firewall Manager is expose those features with a new security tab in the admin GUI to make it more visible and easier to configure for the IT administrator. We've also greatly enhanced the logging and reporting to help organizations understand and mitigate the threats that might be present. AFM is a software license that can be added to any Big IP platform. So let's take an inside look at the Big IP Advanced Firewall Manager with Product Management Engineer, Josh Mendoza. So now we're on a Big IP 11.3 with the AFM loaded on it. So what are you gonna show us here, Josh? So first, what I wanna introduce everyone to is the new tab that we've added with 11.3. And first of all, this is, this is something that's pretty exciting for all of us here. And it is the fact that we've consolidated all of the different security features into one security tab. Now, on this particular a a LTM deployment, we only have the AFM license and the PSM license. There's no ASM license, which is our ap application security module. For ASM, however, 
It will also appear under the security tab and you will go through the same steps that you are used to and you've, uh, you've come to appreciate about ASM from this one screen. The benefit that that brings is it shows our customers that ASM has already always been our security as one of the security aspects that Big IP has brought to the table. Now what we're doing is we're bringing all of the other aspects such as protocol security, network firewall, which is the AFM license, our advanced uh, firewall manager, and the DOS protection that we've always had on the platform and we made it visible here. So just adding a tab, making it more visible and making it actually a lot easier for an administrator to find and configure and, and set this up as a, as a secure unit. Exactly, exactly. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go through um, some of the different things and aspects of these new, uh, this new tab. First and foremost, what we've brought to the table, and although the, this box in, in particular has not had as much traffic pushed through it to, in order to show all of the, the different attacks here, but what we have brought is this new widgets page in the overview that will essentially show the top uh, drops and rules that have been hit in a particular uh, section. So for example, DNS DOS, which you may see you know, certain A records being requested too often, C name records requested too often. We will bring those to light here and we will show you the top name records that have been dropped, as well as DOS network attacks, uh, the network top rules for ACLs, and top error uh, messages for L3 and L4, which I'll go into a little more detail in the further tabs. And when you say error messages, are you talking like the 404s, the 302s, those sorts of things, or something else? Actually, we're talking about here when errors happen at the TCP layer, you're talking about malformed packets for TCP. So we're th those are packets that in the in previously for all of our users that are used to this platform would have seen resets or just simply drops. Now we've brought those out and we've created new counters so that they know exactly what's being dropped and how. Beautiful. So we're going to go ahead and go in further here. As you can see here is just a summary. It shows you all the different ones and you'll see different aspects. You can drill down to protocol security where you'll see a what you've always seen from PSM if you had an ASM license. PSM is where we ensure that the traffic flowing through the box is uh, HTTP and that it's FTP and that it's SMTP. That's what protocol security is always brought to the table. Mm -hmm. We've now made it so that Protocol security knows what requests have come in for the specific types of protocols. Got it. We then go into network and under the overview. And of course, this is I'm just showing the different tabs of the different reporting types that we have. Mm -hmm. And here's where we are going to be showing all of the different ACLs that are going to be hit on the box. Oh, okay. And as you can see, all of these modules are maneuverable and you can add and remove modules as you see fit so that the, this landing page becomes something that's specifically relevant to what you want to see on your on your dashboard and there's many different aspects here that I'll go a little bit more into then you go into DOS now with DOS it, it, it is a little different um, in the sense that we do DNS DOS here and when we see DNS DOS what we make sure to do is notify you yeah. but because of the the extensity of our and capacity of our box we don't actually have to drop any uh, do anything with the DOS attacks when it comes to DNS because if the record doesn't resolve, we simply dropped it already. Yeah. So it, instead of having to turn something on, our box naturally already drops those requests. Sweet. And this also shows the different network DOS attacks that we would see. Mm -hmm. And we've added different vectors to the actual platform to understand the DOS attacks that are going on and we can show them with names and count the instances that have occurred of that specific attack. Great. So you got protocol security. What if we go down to uh, network security? And so now that you've brought that up, and I appreciate that, <laughs> Pete, that network security is actually our newest uh, addition to the platform. Network security is now, as you can see, it brings more of the traditional firewall aspects to the table. Mm. Where here you'll see a long list of ACLs or policies, firewall rules, whichever term you're actually familiar with. But one thing that's that's notable for for us in particular as how we've architected the platform 
is you'll see that each virtual server has a subset of rules. And if you click reorder here, you can reorder these rules within the context of the virtual server, but you can't change them over to another virtual server. Now, the, the key thing to keep in mind with that and the reason we, we do that is because traffic will not flow to the box and read all of these rules. It will flow first to the virtual server that is relevant to the destination of where mm -hmm. they're going, and then the rules will be enacted. So once again, going back, we are all, we've always been a default deny box. What we've brought to the table now is we've created the source aspect to mm -hmm. it where you can define where the sources are coming from and what they're going to be accessing. And you'd want to reorder rules because maybe, you know, a, a blip's occurring or something isn't um, coming in flowing properly into the application. And so you might adjust them accordingly to ensure the security is still in place, but that valid users get to what they need to get to. Absolutely. And one of the things to, to somewhat keep in mind is if, for example, I have an application um, here that is for DNS, right? We know that DNS is generally t UDP only. We don't actually need this TCP rule mm. because DNS is by default already. If we go and if you click on the actual virtual, it's going to bring you back to the plane we've always known, yeah. which is our DNS. And you see how UDP is the only protocol that's being listened to. And I left that rule there specifically to illustrate this because now we don't have to have these two rules because we know that the only traffic that will ever go to this VIP is going to be UDP traffic. Mm. And so the only thing that I would have to specify and the only thing you've ever had to really specify on our platforms is the sources you want to allow or deny. Got it. Whereas the destination has already been defined by your VIP. Nice. So that's, these are some of the aspects that we're now bringing forward with AFM. And I'm, I apologize, I clicked on the virtual servers in this uh, network firewall tab. Okay, and then we got we got the DOS protection, which everybody seems to be afraid of. Oh, definitely. De DOS is, is one of the major concerns for a lot of our customers. And, and what we've brought to the table here, DOS has always been something that we've protected against. But as I mentioned previously, now we have all the different types of DOS attacks that can happen. And you can actually set the threshold for those specific attacks. So for, for example, any one of these attacks can be selected and you can adjust, the, you can specify when we will count it as a, as a DOS attack. Mm -hmm. And if you know that your traffic will exceed these in a normal environment, then you can reduce them or raise them sure. as needed. It's kind of also like the, um, the Layer 7 DOS and the uh, brute force attacks on ASM being able to to manage the thresholds, you know, before you start dropping stuff, depending upon your unique uh, environment. Exactly, and one of and as mentioned before, this is something that's been key to our platform. Yeah. That we've always stopped these attacks. This is one thing to note: is before eleven three, we've always stopped these. We've always protected you against these. But what we noticed is customers want to know. Right. And have more information and be able to control things based on their environments. And so we brought them to light and we've added counters for them to see them. So great stuff, Josh. Right on. Thanks a lot. Absolutely. So that was a pretty cool demo. Thanks for uh, showing us that. And we really did go up and do the demo. If you, if you don't believe us, you could probably see the sun has kind of changed and this little tag is off. But uh, so I really appreciate your time. Give me a little handshake. Anytime. Thank you. And then you were mentioning that uh, Bob Blair was going to come on. We just have Bob right off camera. So why don't you guys do a little uh, switcheroo? Hey, everybody. Thanks Bob. for having me here. Right. So Bob's also a PME with F5 Networks. And you wanted to just give a little bit more detail about the logging and reporting piece of the AFM. Definitely. definitely. So we've always been able to log to multiple destinations on the product. But now we bring a new unique uh, feature to the, to the board is that we actually can group those destinations into a publisher. And those publishers can get logging profiles bound to them. So all those DDoS attack vectors that you saw earlier on, on Josh's demo, we actually can log individual DDoS vectors and send it out to our SIM vendors. We're, and we actually support multiple formats, as I mentioned already. 
uh, three different syslog formats, depending upon what you need, and two more name value pair formats. And that allows you to actually have uh, decide which log values you want to, to send off box. You don't have to send all the values off anymore. You can just send unique ones. So if you just want a request and response string, so we can do that. If you want everything, we can do that. You can get um, grain, granular detail all the way down to each individual vectors and whether or not a, a connection was established, how long it was established, and when it was stopped. And so the, the benefit maybe of, of sending it off to a SIM vendor or some external logging system, what, what would the benefit of that be? Well, first off, we're, we're sending the logs off with high-speed logging, so it's going out in in-band port. And that really relieves the, the big IP CPU from having to do any on-box logging. Mm. And by doing that, we actually get the richness, richness of the SIM vendor's reporting capabilities in correlation across our log modules. Great stuff. I mean, with the, all of the new stuff we've been coming out with lately really pertaining to security and actually solving some very serious problems out there in the marketplace, huh? Most certainly are. And uh, afterwards, we can show, I can show you all the, all the logging happening, and I'll uh, fire up some TAC vectors, and we'll uh, see what happens with the box. That was my line, inviting you. So, hey, yeah. would you like to come back sometime and show us, it, uh, show us the logs? <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us also, likewise, likewise. Bob. So there you have it, a little insight and demo on our new application uh, advanced firewall manager. So for Josh, who's now off camera, Bob, Jonathan behind the lens, I'm Peter, and we're with F5 Networks. Thanks for watching.